Today we're going to look at one of the greatest comic books ever written and one fun film, Watchmen. We're going to take a look at Rorschach's mask and the ink blots that are moving all around his face. All right, so to do this, you'll need a container that you could actually close off after to keep your paint uh, always fresh. You'll need to use thermochromic paint. You could use either thermochromic pigment or thermochromic paint. They both work. The principle of this will be explained later. But basically, what you need to do is mix this with some uh, acrylic paint medium. The ratio that you use is about half-half to start, and then you see if you want it to be a bit more liquidy, you add more uh, medium. If you want it to be thicker, you add more paint. So here's the thermochromic paint. You put it in. Some of the base. And you mix this. At first, it won't mix together real well, but after a few minutes, you'll get a homogeneous solution, meaning one phase. Once you have this consistency, we're ready to go. Take a mask, take some paint brushes, go all around the face. Fold the mask in half to get a real Rorschach pattern, and then you gotta let it sit for about 30 minutes. All right. Here you go. You got the mask. Let's try it on. So what's the chemistry behind this? Well, we've been using thermochromic paint. The word thermochromic means that it changes color with the, with the temperature change. So every time I exhale, it becomes clear. Every time I inhale, it becomes dark. Why? Because every time I exhale, it's very hot and therefore it changes color. And when every time I inhale, it becomes cold. So it goes to the other color. In this case, for this pigment, it goes black whenever it's hot and clear whenever it's cold. You could do this with all sorts of different colors. Let's check out some other examples. So Coors Light has this design here that the, the mountain changes color whenever your beer is cold and whenever your beer is warm. So here's a warm beer. You kind of see here the gray design. And here we have a cold beer. You see the difference in color? Same principle, thermochromic paint is incorporated. So we have a color here whenever it's cold, a color here whenever it's hot. You can even try to put the can in hot water if it changes right away there from blue to gray. So it's the same thing in these uh, special cups that you have. They are, they're black whenever they're cold, and whenever you put hot water, the black color goes transparent. <coughs> and then eventually you will see the image that is under. That's why you get these great effects. Oh, what a beautiful cup. Is that the comic book chemist? <laughs>